There are three specific and prevalent myths in your industry, and if you buy into any or all of them, it will sabotage your ability to meet your best future. The first myth can sabotage you as a leader. The second myth impacts every employee. And the third myth undermines your culture and your customer relationships. Nobody matters but the customer. True or false? All right, you should be leaning toward false. I started by saying it's a myth. Just saying. What if I were to suggest to you that the sale you make to the customer is not the most important sale you make every day? How many of you heard that? You should be proactive, you should get out there, you should make things happen, right? You've heard this, right? I thought that was a good thing to be. Except it's not. Not really. There's a fundamental flaw when you go around looking at things that you could be proactive about. And I can prove it to you. You see, you don't get any extra credit if the original job isn't done. Nobody wants to work hard or stay long. Have you heard this? How many of you have heard, oh, this is a part-time job, this industry, there's such high turnover, you know, it's just nobody's gonna stick around and where's the work ethic to these days? Have you heard this? How many of you have heard this more than once in the past week? I mean, have you ever stopped and wondered, how did I get into this business in the first place? Ever wondered? I mean, how many of you right now owe your entire career to a part-time job that just got way out of hand? You've heard this from people in every generation. This is a myth, and myths are contagious. Beliefs are contagious, so you want to choose yours very deliberately. Choose them wisely. A strong work ethic is not dead. Maybe it's time to stop arguing with reality and, and ask ourselves, you know, is the job transitional or am I treating people as transitional? It was amazing. Nobody notices, so why bother? It's so easy to think that because the pace of your business is so fast that you're just in a purely transactional business. But the reality is there's plenty of room to make it a relational business. She engaged the audience, she participated, and she knew what she was talking about. Because you can do transactional things in a relational way. What is your way that signals to somebody, this is special, this is a celebration, we are so glad you are here. It doesn't cost a lot of money, it doesn't take a lot of time, but it makes a huge impact. You have such an opportunity, especially in a fast-paced business. Think of all the people you get to impact in a short period of time, every single day. Maybe we're fueling the very myth we're complaining about. What if? you are not willing to scratch the surface, to get beyond these myths, how will you ever win big? Because to win big is to have MVPs everywhere, most vital people, the most vital processes, the most vital principles. The good news is, you're in exactly the right place to make all of that happen this week. So over the next few days, in the general sessions, in the education sessions, on the exhibitor floor, and in the hallway conversations that you're gonna have with your peers, you can discover everything you need to meet your best future. And you know, while we were having fun and while we are laughing, what was actually happening in your brain is that those parts of your brain that don't talk to each other started having a conversation. And now new connections are happening, and you never know what could be possible. So you actually shifted the myths. You shifted your thinking about what's possible. How many of you came in this morning and you know what's possible is I might make up a song about juice today. <laughs> These myths that are driving your business results, how easy it is to shift them. Some very specific tactics to make that happen. And now you have the tools that you need to go back into your business and watch the profits soar. I want you to make it your personal mission 
to, to really connect with these folks who are newer in the business. Share your wisdom, share your experience, help them, but also listen to their fresh ideas, their fresh thinking, because that is how shift happens.